Hey there guys, this is John here of course, and I just have a really quick little fishing related tip to share with you guys today. Quite literally actually, so no pun intended on this one, alright? Now, what we're going to be talking about is actually rod repair, uh, specifically guides and repairing rod tips, a broken rod tip. Now, the rod in question actually happens to be one of my favorites. It's a telescoping rod that I use for backpacking or sometimes just keeping along in the vehicle for those emergency fishing situations. We've all had them. Now, I would like to say that I broke this rod accidentally while trying to land a monstrous fish, as has been the case uh, more times than I can count. I'm sure you guys can relate. Uh, actually, I'm embellishing a little bit. What really happened is I accidentally slammed the rod in the truck door, so my bad. But either way, uh, let's get on with this, guys. Um, I'll show you how I uh, like to repair these accidents when they do occur and uh, get back on the water and get back to catching fish. Now, as we get into this here, let me first of all say that this is obviously kind of a self-explanatory fix here. There's not a lot to it. I essentially wanted to show you my method based on experience um, on repairing damage like this. So with that said, let's just get right into it. Uh, the first thing you'll need is, of course, uh, some rod tips. Now, I just you use these uh, repair kits. Uh, you pick them up off the shelf at Walmart or um, you know any outdoor sporting goods store. They typically will uh, come in different sizes, so you'll need to select the size appropriate for the uh, repair on the rod that you're doing. And as you can see by the uh, actual uh, package we have here, I have uh, used this before, so I've had this problem more than once. Uh, one thing I do want to say, uh, however, is what these come with, they will come with uh, some type of uh, cement uh, stick. They're basically a hot glue stick, and I've found them to be uh, not the most effective, let's just say that. And so um, I typically will toss that in another repair kit and uh, use it for other purposes. What I have found to be the most effective is some type of super glue adhesive, an epoxy type, not the uh, liquid type um, such as this, uh, you know, basic super glue. Uh, this is just a little, uh, it's got a little higher viscosity and uh, works better for this application. So that's what we will be using for the actual repair. Now, uh, once we've selected the proper size uh, guide, the tip, and we have our adhesive, we want to take a good look at the rod tip itself and make sure that there's no damage, make sure that we have a repairable uh, tip. And what I'm talking about here is make sure, making sure that the uh, rod tip itself is not um, cracked or damaged in any way. And if that is the case, uh, you'll want to trim the damaged portion off uh, utilizing a sharp uh, blade, a razor knife, something of that nature, uh, just to clean off that uh, section. And then uh, use a file, uh, just a basic simple file to uh, clean up any edges. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty simple there. You just want to make sure you have a nice clean uh, working area to perform your repair. Now, um, it gets really simple from here on out. Uh, like I said, this is a very simple project. We'll take some of our adhesive and simply uh, adhere it, apply it rather, uh, to the very tip of the rod. And as you can see, like I said, that has a much higher viscosity than a typical super glue. And so it's going to work much better for our application here. And once we have that done, we'll just kind of gently work that in there, maybe a little back and forth action to ensure that that is seated nice and uh, you know properly onto the rod blank. And if you've put enough on there, you'll have a little bit of excess, which you can take and just uh, kind of clean up that loose edge there. And it's uh, pretty much as simple as that, guys. Just kind of clean that up a little bit. Make sure that we've got full adhesion there. And then we will let the uh, rod tip set out to uh, dry and the repair will be complete. And there we go, a perfectly functional repaired rod ready to go out and catch plenty of more fish. This rod has a lot more life left in her, I can guarantee you that for sure.
So I know this has been kind of a common sense video, uh, really nothing special about it. I just wanted to share uh, my method of doing this with you guys, uh, particularly for those of you that may think when you uh, have damage that occurs like this to a rod, that you need to uh, just toss the rod and go purchase a new one. And that's obviously certainly not the case. You've got a lot more life to, in, a, in a nice rod like this. So on a final note, what I would like to say, however, is that an ounce of prevention is always worth a pound of cure. And so you can uh, rest assured for myself at least that from now on I will be using protection. No jokes please. And that is of course the uh, rod protector that came along with this rod. Uh, just keeps it nice and safe and uh, hopefully nothing will happen to the rod in the future. So that's about all I got for this one guys. I uh, just wanted to say thanks a lot for watching. You guys get out there, get on the water, catch yourself some fish, have a great time doing it. And until next time, take care. We'll be seeing you soon.